In this tutorial, you will learn how to create this muscle lash effect, which you see in this picture. So let's start by open up Adobe Premiere Pro. I use C6, but you could as well use uh, an older version because uh, this isn't uh, so complex things to do. So start a new project, muscle flash example. Let's keep those settings. And what you need now is, of course, a video file in which you want the muscle flash effect. So go ahead and drop that one into the program. You also need the actual muscle flash, which you can either draw yourself in Photoshop as I did, or you can uh, find one in Google. You need the sound for your gun. And you need some smoke to add that extra detail. Okay, so that is done. Go ahead and place the video clip in the player and trim it to where you want uh, the muscle flash effect to be. So let's say I want my muscle flash effects to appear here. Then I first copy this file and pass it here so that uh, you have uh, a duplicate of uh, the original file. And then you play, place the muscle flash picture on top of those. And the length should be one frame or you can as well use two frames which I actually prefer because I think it looks a little bit more realistic with two frames than one frame just because uh, all of the light doesn't go away instantly so now you have this black area here which, which you don't want to have so go into effect controls Click on Opacity, and in Blend Mode, you select Screen. Now you see all the black areas are gone, and you can adjust the size and position of this uh, flare to be at the right position. So I use 50%, and let's see. That's quite nice. So let's continue with the lightning. We would like to have some light here on the ground and also here on the helicopter. So if we add a light effect to this uh, overlaid video clip, we can do that by going into effects, video effects. Adjust and select lighting effects. Place it on top of the video. And now this looks really crappy, but uh, you will see that it will be much better when we correct the layer in a later step. So just continue with this at first by going into effect controls, going into light, have a spotlight here. The major radius is in this case. Uh, 14 and the minor radius is 10. I place it so that it, the light is directed against the helicopter because this light is intended to be the, the one which uh, lit up the helicopter. Increase the intensity but uh, decrease the focus and yeah, it's, uh, it's possible to have a negative focus here. You can have down to negative uh, 100, but then everything goes away. So just place the light over the helicopter. Uh, 
that looks quite good. So, but not yet, because first you have to go in to the opacity settings. And select opacity 50% and instead of blending mode normal, you select lighten. Now it starts to look good. But we would also like to have that effect on the grass. And we would not like to have this lighting effect at all time. We just want it uh, when we have the muscle flash. So we should also shorten the overlaid video clip to just the right place. Now I took one frame more for the lighting because uh, it, it feels more realistic when it takes some time for the light to go away. So it feels more smooth. But you see a mistake I made here. I cropped away the audio too. So I'm going to take it back. And before we do that, we unlink these clips. Now we can redo the process. Crop here, crop here, and take those parts away. The helicopter is moving quite a lot there, but so we should move the flash with it. So let's do that. Okay, let's add the light effect on the grass. Then you can choose the omnidirectional. And if you click on lighting effects, you can easily place it with your mouse within the video clip. It's much easier that way. And you should probably have it somewhere here. And then let's go ahead and add a third one, also only one, but a li little bit smaller, right under the flash, but uh, reduce the intensity to just 10 instead of 30. And to make this a little bit more smooth, we also go into the video transition part and choose cross dissolve and place on the lighting effect clip but let it start after one frame so now you can see how smooth it will be so let's go ahead and add some audio also Or no, we almost forgot. We also need that smoke. So go ahead and add a new video track. Select the smoke file. And place on top of the mus muscle flash picture. You don't need the audio file from the smoke. So just unlink it and take it away. Now we want to see where in the audio file we want to start and we want to start where it starts to give in out smoke, so at that point. And I think I would like to have this mirrored, the smoke in the other direction. So let's go into the effects and uh, into video effects. Transform and I make a horizontal flip. Yeah, it looks way much better. 
and I think I would like it to stop over here. Take away the rest of the smoke. But we want, don't want this uh, black parts. So, as we did before, we go into the effect controls, opacity, and select screen. Now we just have the smoke and nothing else. But you can still see where the smoke is. So go ahead and adjust the position to have the smoke just above the flare. That looks quite good. And we also need to have some smooth transition to make the smoke disappear. So go into video transition, dissolve, and use the cross dissolve here too. And now we have the actual muscle flash ready for use. But um, what would a muscle flash be without audio? So let's go ahead and add the audio file also. It's an audio file with uh, a lot of different uh, different sound effects in it uh, from an M16 gun. And I would like to use only the last one, so I just crop this away. And place the audio file so that you can see that it uh, increases here in level at the same time as you have your muscle flash. So now you're pretty much done. So let's go ahead, go up to file, export, media. Select uh, whatever file format you like, but uh, I used to take the H.264 format and uh, 1080p. And always make sure you have the same format here in your source part as your output part. As that, that is uh, one of the parts where you reduce the quality a lot if uh, you are far off. So in this case, 25 FPS is not the correct one. I should have 29.97. And export. When the loading is done, you will see a demo video where I created the helicopter sequences. The other parts of the video were done by XXL Ray who also has a tutorial about how to do such results with the freeware program. Check out his video to learn about it and to see an alternative ending. He also has a lot of other interesting videos on his channel. Stop! Who are you? Don't move! Get him, tiger!